Welcome Batman fans to another Batman Arkham Origins lore. This is lore number three and today I'm talking about a non-Batman related topic. A short discussion on The Flash being in the Arrow Season 2 series. So if you're not, uh, w sorry, if you're not watching Arrow Season 2 or you haven't watched Arrow Season 1, it is on Netflix, which you, you know, probably most of you have. Uh, it's doing very, very well right now. Honestly, like the views are going up, the ratings are doing a lot better than Season 1. And I overall think a lot better. And in around a few episodes, I think uh, only like three more episodes towards like the mid-season finale, we're going to be seizing, seeing the Flash. And I'm talking the Flash in costume. The na his name's going to be Flash. He's going to be going faster than a speeding bullet, faster than the speed of light. He will be the Flash, and he'll be appearing on Arrow. Arrow, the TV series, is having the Flash. They are completely changing everything in Arrow. And hell yeah, they're making it a lot better because they are adding the Flash. So, if you haven't seen the actor who is playing the Flash, I think he played on Glee for a little bit. Overall, that's like pretty much the main problem I have with this is the actor. I'm not saying that he's a bad actor. It's just I have, I don't really know too much about him, and he doesn't seem like the best actor. I guess you could say he seems a little bit like. Do you even know what you're doing? Like you know. But anyway. Basically, like, if you haven't been watching this TV series, they, they show little news clips, little cameos or Easter eggs that there's, like, a, uh, in Star Labs, there's a, uh, par uh, particle accelerator that's, like, malfunctioning and everything, and I think that's how they're going to give Flash his powers. I think there's going to be, like, a, a part, I don't think they're going to do, like, the, the lightning bolt to his chest or do the magic way with, like, the God of Mercury. I think they're going to be doing a Star Labs, I think the Flash, Barry Allen, will be working at Star Labs while the particle accelerator explodes and that's how he'll gain the powers of the Flash and I think that's that's a pretty interesting thing because like they're trying to say that there's gonna be one big thing that like gives powers into this universe and I think that's basically Star Labs you know like in Smallville the Star Labs like mutated people to give them powers and I think it's just like okay Star Labs is a normal place working on like human genetics and uh, Particle Accelerator went off and Barry Allen was working there and you, there you go like he's faster than the speed of light and I think that's a good way for him to give his powers overall I just I don't know how I can't even imagine the episode happening my guess is Oliver Queen's going to visit his mother at Iron Heights because Iron Heights is very close to uh, Central City where the Flash lives so I think what's gonna happen is okay so Arrow visit his mother at Iron Heights He's, while he's visiting there, he decides to go in town for a little bit and maybe just check, check, check to see what's going on. While he's in town, that is when the particle accelerator explodes and that whole explosion happens. And Oliver Queen puts on, you know, the Arrow costume and goes see what's going on. See, like, oh, what's going on? And the, as everything, as he's at Star Labs, he runs into the Flash. Where right now, Barry Allen has no clue what's going on. He doesn't even, like, he's like, oh shit, like... I, I'm running faster than a, everything like and basically Oliver Queen meets Bear Allen's like no I'll help you and that's how they meet so that's one way you could do it honestly that's like an easy simple way okay Oliver Queen or the arrow meets Barry Allen and basically it's like okay so Oliver already knows who Barry Allen is and like already knows his identity or they could do a second route which I think they might be doing is they're going to skip that whole scene and just go right into the flash and have like maybe skip a few weeks and maybe same occurrence Oliver Queen goes to Iron Heights and instead of like the whole explosion happening is basically as he's walking around in town as Oliver Queen he witnesses the flash saving someone's life and then he wants to like look up on him and just find out what's going on I like that way better because I rather have Oliver Queen not know who the flash is right away and I don't want them knowing each other right away. I want them meeting as, like, I want Flash to be in his costume and Arrow to be in his costume as they're meeting for the first time. And they're like, oh, shit, you're you're on the wall, too? I don't, th I mean, it would be cool to see a quick fight scene. But overall, I want them to get together pretty fast. I don't want them to have this whole controversy in between them. I mean, it's good, but I just really want to see the Flash and Arrow team up. And, you know, we're also seeing Black Canary and everything. And I, that's really interesting. Like, okay, we're going to see Black Canary in costume, Oliver, uh, Green Arrow, and Flash all in costume. One problem I have, the last thing we're talking about is, like, okay, they're adding powers into the universe. Awesome. They can't give freaking Black Canary her Canary Scream. Like, if you haven't seen a few episodes where she's in, she just uses a device to, like, 
sound off a really high screech. I hate that. I mean, yes, it's awesome. Like, okay, Black Canary overall, great staff, great moves. She looks hot. Everything's perfect. But overall, like, not even giving her Canary Scream pisses me off so much. Like, I understand if you're going to keep the reality to it, but okay, you're adding the fastest man alive. I think you can give girl have some screaming powers. Like, really? The only reason I think they didn't do that is maybe they're hiding it. Maybe she's like, doesn't want to show people she has the power because I think they want to debut powers into the universe like the episode of The Flash. So maybe after the episode of The Flash happens, when we see Black Canary, she's like, oh, wait, I have this huge Canary scream I never told you about. Now, I know that sounds stupid, but if they could really, you know, give it a reason for her hiding it, I would love that because there's really no reason for her to have a device if they're going to add powers into the universe, you know? Might as well just give her that scream. By the way, that's going to conclude today's episode for Batman Arkham Origins lore number three, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe down below. And what do you want me to talk about next? I think I'll be talking about Batman Zero Year and how I think I want it to end. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.